So Chris was saying, when I'm modeling stuff that is very small, I have to go and dolly really close into the object. So let's go and make ourselves an object for demonstration purposes. And I might just use a sphere. It isn't quite as small as the details that Chris was uh, modeling, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll adjust that in a minute. I'm gonna go and give it a bit of a darker base color, maybe something like this. There we go, object sorted, perfect. So now I need a camera and I'm gonna go and copy one that is gonna be the same as my perspective view. Hey there, Mr. Kiwi, good to see you. Very good to see you, thank you for following, I appreciate that. I just said to Lepu, if you are, uh, because you're a new follower, I think you can't chat for about 10 minutes. Don't let that discourage you. It is literally just to keep the spam bots out. I'm, I'm so sorry. I have to put drastic measures like that in place. But your patience will be rewarded, of course. So this is now my camera and I can go and dolly around. And there will come the point at which I'm going to reach the object and you will just see that it goes like punk. So in this case, I'm basically inside the sphere. And now I'm outside. So this is inside, this is outside. But Das Studio doesn't really apply a camera clipping there. So I can see how this is getting in the way if you're going, if you're getting too close to smaller objects. So just to reiterate what's happening here, let's go over to uh, the, the window, viewports, and I'll use top to bottom here. So then we can go and see maybe my uh, my camera at the bottom, and on the top here I'm gonna choose the actual top view and this is going to show you what happens to the camera so if i go and hover over the bottom one and i dolly so this is just rolling my mouse button then the camera is going to eventually intersect with the object and this is exactly when we see this change on the bottom viewport happening can you see that here now i'm on the outside of the object so literally the front of the camera is hitting the object and if i go even further then i'm inside the object so that studio isn't quite clipping this but I can see how it appears it would do that. And so if this ever happens to you and you need to just be to just go any closer in there, you can. Um, so the mouse wheel behaves that there's like steps in there, right? But if you wanted to get somewhere between this and that step, you can literally go and use the, the zoom button here. So if you left click and drag this, then you can do this in, in smaller increments. So this is one option to get closer to the object. And um, you know, if you ever need that in between steps, but then of course, the other thing is that if you go and if you're further away from the object, you go and uh, zoom out here a little bit so we can see that you can use your camera and then change the focal length of the camera. And what that'll do is it'll Will increase this so it'll leave the position of the camera alone and just zoom in as if you'd had like that zoom lens and that happens on the parameters tab with the camera selected under camera and then there's focal uh, length here that's the 65 is the default and if you left click and drag that then you'll see that the camera in the top viewport stays stationary but in the bottom one you basically go closer to it and this means now you can literally zoom in seriously close without ever intersecting with the object so no matter how big or small that is this is a way for you to get really close if you need to see something really close because it doesn't mess with the focus so you can literally go extremely close and you'll never have that clipping issue I hope that clears it up. If ever you need to get up really close to an object, no matter how big or small it is, then, you know, focal length is your friend. There we go.